Hello, I'm Michael Scharf, director of the Frederick K. Cox International Law Center at Case Western Reserve University School of Law. In the next few minutes, you'll get to hear from some of our faculty and students who will tell you about the exceptional international law program at Case Western Reserve. This year, a national survey of law professors ranked Case Western's international law program as one of the top in the country. Our program attracts students from around the world to study here, and they graduate with international law jobs across the globe. Hello, I'm Margo Day and I'm from Michigan. I chose to study law at Case Western Reserve School of Law because of its stellar international law program. Hi, my name is Nikki Desarathi and I'm originally from New Jersey. I came to Case because I heard, if you want to work abroad, Case will make it happen. Hi, I'm Michael Pearson and I came to Case Western Reserve University School of Law because I was excited about the National Security Law Program here. Case's International Law Program has a $4 million endowment, one of the largest in the nation. With this money, we provide students summer, semester-long, and post-grad internship grants to help them break into a job in international law. I'm a first-year law student from Atlanta, Georgia, and this summer I'll be interning at the United Nations Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda. I'm a second-year law student from New York and also president of the International Law Society. This past summer, I worked at the International Bar Association in London, and this summer, I plan to go to The Hague and work for the presiding judges over the Charles Taylor trial. I'm a third-year law student at Case, and I did my undergrad at the University of Notre Dame. After my first year at Case, I interned for a law firm in Shanghai, China, and after my second year, I interned for the president of the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda, where Case School of Law grad Andres Perez serves as a legal officer. After my first year in law school, I was an intern at the International Trade Center in Geneva, Switzerland. And after my second year, I was a summer associate at a large law firm in New York City, where they offered me a full-time job after I graduate. Our international law program includes the Cox Center, the Institute for Global Security Law and Policy, the War Crimes Research Office, the Canada-US Law Institute, and the Summer Institute for International Law and Policy in the Netherlands. They bring over 100 distinguished speakers to the school throughout the year. This semester, I got to go to dinner with Jeffrey Robertson, an international human rights lawyer. The Case Western Reserve Journal of International Law just celebrated its 45th anniversary this year, making it one of the oldest and most prestigious international law journals in the world. Our International Law Journal publishes articles written by speakers from around the world who come to Case. As an editor on this journal, I've had the chance to edit these articles written by international law experts. Our Jessup International Law Moot Court team has won the U.S. regional competition four out of the past five years, and in 2008, captured the world championship. It was just the second time in 17 years that an American team won the prestigious competition, which features 500 law schools from 120 countries. Rotania cannot hide behind the principle of malacaptus benedictentis in order to justify an unfair trial. One of the most amazing moments of my life was winning the World Championship Round of the Jessup Moot Court Competition and the award for Best Final Round Speaker. Margot Day. It was a chance to meet international law students from around the world that share a passion for international law. Our international law curriculum is one of the most extensive of any law school. We offer international law as a first year elective, we have 45 upper-level international and comparative courses, including several hands-on labs, practicums, and clinics. Our students can choose to graduate with an international law or national security law concentration. We also offer a summer program in the Netherlands, an exchange program with six leading Chinese law schools, and our unique Case Abroad at Home program taught by visiting foreign professors. My name is Richard Gordon. I came to CASE after working for the International Monetary Fund as senior counsel for about 11 years. At CASE, I teach a course on financial sector integrity, where we do projects assigned to us by the IMF. Hi, I'm Juscelino Colares, professor of law at CASE Western. I teach international trade and other courses in international business and regulatory matters. I was born in Brazil, but I've studied and practiced law in Brazil, France, and the United States, and I'm living proof that a career in international law can be both professionally gainful and academically exciting. I'm Cassandra Robertson, and I teach and write about international law in U.S. courts. Case Western is on the cutting edge of this very fast-growing area of practice. Hi, I'm Tim Webster. I'm an expert in Chinese law. 
With exchange programs at six of the most prominent Chinese law schools, Case Western is a leader in preparing students to do legal work in this fast-growing area of international law. Hi, I'm John Gretzinger. I teach international corporate transactions and international trade law. Before I became a full-time professor at Case Western Reserve Law School, I served with a number of multinational corporations. I'm Robert Strassfeld, Director of the Institute for Global Security Law and Policy. In an age of terrorism, the work of the Institute is more important than ever. Hi, I'm David Koken, Managing Director of the Canada-U.S. Law Institute. Since 1976, we've been at the forefront of issues critical to the most significant and largest trading relationship in the world. From national security and human rights to trade, energy, and the environment, our students don't just inform the debate, they advance it. In the War Crimes Research Lab, we work on issues assigned to us by five different international war crimes tribunals. In 2005, the Special Court for Sierra Leone nominated our program for the Nobel Peace Prize. Case Western does a remarkable job at placing its students in internships at international tribunals. And I'm one of six graduates that now work as prosecutor, defense counsel, and legal advisor to the judges of the international tribunals. One of the best experiences I had with Case was with the externship tribunal program. Last semester, I had the opportunity to extern with the co-prosecutor at the Cambodian Genocide Tribunal. In the National Security Lab, we worked on real legal issues for the Department of Defense. Case is one of the only law schools that offer international law as a first year class. It offers me a great introduction and overview of the subject. Thanks to our endowment, we have built up one of the most exciting international law programs in the country. Nearly half of our faculty teach international law courses and nearly half of our students pick CASE because of their interest in international law. Over 500 of our alumni practice in the field of international law, from major law firms to human rights organizations, from government agencies to international tribunals. My education at CASE earned me a position as a military lawyer in the United States Air Force JAG Corps. When I finish up at CASE, I'll be heading off to a law firm in New York City. After graduating from CASE, I had a two-year federal judicial clerkship. Now I'm an attorney at Jones Day, one of the largest law firms in the world, where I've recently been working on matters involving Somali pirates, and I will soon be traveling for work to Southeast Asia. We hope you will come to CASE so we can help you launch your career in international law.